Welcome to Animation Rundown, where we will once again dive into another enthralling recap. In this video, we'll explore another DC movie, Superman vs. The Elite. But wait, before we jump right in, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more captivating movie recaps. Without further ado, let's get started. The movie begins with Clark spending moments with Lois Lane. They stop by a street TV, watching an animated episode. In it, Superman captures two bank criminals, ending with a message. Crime doesn't pay. Post-show, Lois notes that while Clark cares for others, he should also think of himself. As Clark leans in for a kiss, he spots turmoil in the city. Swiftly, Clark changes into his superhero attire and heads to the commotion. There, he meets the evil Atomic Skull, causing destruction and injuring citizens. Superman confronts him, seeking reasons for his behavior. Atomic Skull admits he lured Superman using the victims. Furious, Superman battles Atomic Skull, overpowering him and tossing him into a nearby water body. After this, Superman is called to the United Nations, where world leaders reprimand him for the city's damage. They question his choice not to kill Atomic Skull due to his wicked deeds. Superman clarifies he's neither a judge nor an executioner and sees good in everyone. However, his speech is interrupted when Bialya and Perkaliston leaders accuse each other of treaty violations, hinting at war. Immediately, Superman flies to Bialya to stop the growing conflict. Observing the terrifying Perkaliston weapons attacking the city, he's primarily worried about the severely wounded soldiers. Suddenly, a group with special powers appears to help him against the bioweapons. They're recognized as the elites, consisting of Coldcast, who can absorb different energies, Hat, a magician with a unique hat, Menagerie, a lady connected to snake-like creatures, and their leader, Manchester Black, a British psychic with vast powers. Despite their joint efforts, the beast keeps reviving. In a turn of events, Black mentally suggests to Superman that freezing the creature might be its weakness. Trusting this, Superman freezes the monster, effectively stopping it. After the fight, as Superman thanks the elites, they disappear before introductions. Back at the Daily Planet, the editor, fearing lagging behind in news, directs his crew, including Clark and Lois, to find information on these new heroes. Having seen their skills, Clark writes about his experience with the elites. Lois tells Superman about a British lady who supposedly knows about the group he's interested in. Curious, Superman finds her in a crowd, sharing stories of the elite leader's heroics. Listening, Black appears, offering to share their backstory through a mind connection. Hesitant at first, Superman agrees, diving into Black's memories. He sees a young Black, the fifth child, facing challenges after their mother's death during his only sister's birth. Their grieving father turned to drink, leaving Black to care for his sister. To get by, she acted as an orphan for sympathy, while Black discreetly stole from the unaware. This barely sustained them. However, when Black started having severe headaches, their secret was exposed. Police trapped them, and in a bid to save her brother, Black's sister fought back. Things escalated, with officers pushing her towards a speeding train. Black screams, and in emotion, a hidden power emerges from him, stopping the train and saving his sister. He tells Superman that the Queen of England later mentored him, teaching him to use his skills for good. During a trip to Africa, he met the individuals who'd become the elites. Suddenly, Black senses a threat in the city. The danger is a railway targeted by armed terrorists planning to crash a train. The elites and Superman arrive. Following Superman's request, Black uses his teleportation to rescue the people. They save everyone, and the terrorists are captured quickly. Furious, Black starts punishing the terrorists, demanding their reasons. Superman steps in, advocating for legal justice, jailing. After the event, the heroes leave. Superman meets Lois, who's been researching Black's history for him. Despite thorough research, Lois can't find any online record of Black's sister. She openly agrees with the elite's beliefs, arguing that unchecked criminals always return to their evil ways. Their talk is halted by a broadcast. Black, representing the elites, declares their plan to give immediate death penalties to criminals. The majority support this extreme view, but Superman and Lois oppose it. Determined to learn more, Superman takes Lois to the Fortress of Solitude to trace the broadcast and find the elites. However, in Bialya, Superman is attacked by the Pokalistan army, who see him as an enemy. Just when things seem bleak, the elites step in, defeating the soldiers. Waking up in the elites' base, Superman, instead of thanking them, scolds them for their deadly actions. Black insists their mission is clear, criminals should die for their crimes. Superman strongly debates with the elites, 
stressing that their deadly method blurs the hero-villain line. Unconvinced, Black sends Superman back to Earth. Meanwhile, Lois, having reached a research dead end, meets Black's sister. She disagrees with her brother's ways and gives Lois a USP, hoping it might change his course. Seeking advice, Superman visits his foster parents. Unexpectedly, they agree with him, assuring him that if the elites turn dangerous, he should oppose them. Elsewhere, Atomic Skull, with his new power, breaks out of jail and causes chaos, turning people to dust. The elites step in but find it hard against his increased strength. When Superman joins, their combined power defeats Atomic Skull. As Black gets ready to kill him, Superman stops him, advocating for jailing. However, Terence, a young fan of the elites whose dad was hurt in the chaos, and the crowd vocally back the elites' deadly method. They argue that if Atomic Skull had been killed earlier, the recent destruction wouldn't have happened. Before Superman can react, Black kills Atomic Skull, gaining the crowd's praise while Superman's influence diminishes. Upset, Superman goes to Krypton. There, Lois contacts him, sharing her talk with Black's sister. The USB reveals that during the train event, Black's unchecked powers killed many, and their dad died of natural causes, not grief. Their talk is interrupted when Black and the elites land on the Fortress of Solitude, stating their plan to destroy the Pokalistani forces. Superman rushes to stop more killing, saving many lives. He suggests a peace meeting between the Pokalistani and Bialyan leaders, but Black tells him both leaders were killed by the elites. Hearing of the leader's deaths, Superman's anger peaks, and with one hit, he sends Black flying. The elite sees Superman's reaction as a declaration of war. Accepting the challenge, Superman suggests they fight away from innocence, taking them to the moon for their duel. The elites ensure the world sees by broadcasting the fight. During the fierce fight, Superman bravely faces the elite's continuous attacks. However, Black's psychic attack makes him vulnerable. The elites, thinking they've won, hit Superman with a powerful energy blast and celebrate his assumed death too soon. Their joy is brief when a threatening voice sounds. It's Superman, now apparently agreeing with the elite's belief that criminals should die. He systematically kills each elite member, leaving Black and Coldcast to escape to Earth, hoping to use people as protection against Superman's anger. Superman follows, defeating Coldcast and using his heat vision to turn off Black's power. As Black waits for his end, he uses the chance to label Superman a betrayer, arguing he's the same as the elites. In a surprise, Superman reveals it was all a trick. He hadn't killed the elites but had locked them in a secret place where their powers were turned off. Through this complex trick, Superman shows the world the dangers of violence, regaining their trust. The movie ends on this note of renewed faith. With this, we come to the end of this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss another amazing recap video. We will see you in the next one.